How did Genghis Khan die? Well, his death is mostly in mystery. However, the Great Khan died in the summer of 1227 during a campaign along the upper reaches of the Yellow River in Yachan. Did he just die from the injuries received from the battle? Most likely, but the real cause of his death is still unknown. Marco Polo said he died from an arrow wound to the knee. Sounds like there's a lot of secrecy surrounding Genghis Khan's death. Yeah, historians claim that many years before his death, Genghis Khan wished to be buried in an unmarked grave in the Burkhan Cauldron Mountain in Mongolia. So his soldiers transported his body back to his homeland. Yes, at his request, he wanted his burial to not be marked by any mausoleum, temple, or tombstone. Wow, you'd think he'd have a whole terracotta army set up for him. Based on the legends, 2,000 slaves that attended his funeral were killed by the soldiers sent to guard them. And those soldiers were then killed by another group of soldiers, which killed anyone and anything that crossed their path in order to keep the location secret. Finally, when the soldiers reached their destination, they offed themselves. Other myths claim that his people released a thousand horses in the area to trample over any signs of human activity, and that they also altered the flow of a nearby river to run over his grave. Damn, really sounds like he wanted to hide something. In 2001, a walled burial ground on a hillside near the town of Bat Sharit was found. The location is close to both Genghis Khan's presumed birthplace and the site where he announced himself as the universal ruler of the Mongols. The site contained at least 20 unopened tombs of high status individuals. Yeah, that site was closed down over the fear that the scientists would dig them up. So who knows, it was never excavated. Well, in 2004, Genghis Khan's palace was discovered leading to speculation that his burial site could be located nearby. So his palace was 150 miles east of the Mongolian capital of Ulaanbaatar, which is the same general location of the burial site. Yes, also in 2015 and 2016, expeditions in the Kenti Mountains found a human-made tumulus, which is a mound of earth and stones raised over a grave or graves at the top of the Burkham Cauldron Mountain that is 820 feet long. The mound is still used for religious rites and pilgrimages of the surrounding population, but there was no scientific publication of the expedition because it was made without authorization. And they did not inform the authorities and the area around Burke and Colden remained strictly controlled by the Mongolian government due to the sacredness of the area. Whoa, this large area of land surrounding the potential resting place of the Khan is closed to the public and protected by soldiers even to this day. So it still remains sacred. Even after centuries of research and excavation, no trace of the tomb has been found, making it one of the most significant lost treasures of all time. It's even romanticized by foreign media to be a curse, a belief that the world would end if Genghis Khan's tomb was discovered. According to Mongolia Today, incredible treasures were buried with Genghis Khan from every corner of his vast empire. And as one researcher told the Associated Press, if we find what items were buried with him, we could write a new page for world history. And if they wanted us to find it, they would have left some kind of sign.